hello everyone welcome back to my channel daniel here from second chance love and today's video is going to be a little bit different you guys it's not going to feature a haul in a way um but i'm going to be showcasing my vintage radon collection so a lot of you are new to my channel some of you have been here for the long run and you have seen a lot of my pieces but it may be that maybe you haven't seen them all as a whole so behind my barrister bookcase showcases a lot of my vintage Ray Dunn pieces and some pieces from various collections that I just wanted to go ahead and pop on really quick for a quick video before the end of 2022 to share with you guys my vintage collection because I feel like I've never really showcased my collection before as a whole because I've only shown them in like hauls. So again, I'm going to be sharing that with you, you guys. So I'm very, very excited to share with you guys because a lot of these finds believe it or not, are thrifted. I have found so many amazing pieces of Ray Dunn while thrifting at my Goodwill stores and also like at Savers. I have really good luck there as well. So I cannot wait to showcase you guys, you know, everything that I have behind this barrister bookcase. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Daniel and on Second Chance Love, if you love Ray Dunn, if you love thrifting, if you love vintage estate sales and holidays like Christmas and Halloween, and this is the channel for you. I welcome you to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my weekly videos. And for my returning subscribers, as always, thank you so much. So you guys are going to have to bear with me. I am feeling very, very, very sloth-like. I, Joe and I just had our most recent COVID booster, which is actually our fourth. This is the fourth. Um, it's the most recent dose that they just brought out. And oh my gosh. It really has kicked my hiney. I honestly <laughs> feel like I don't have any energy. I feel like I've been run over by a bus, literally. Um, but I'm hanging in there and hopefully it will go away in a day or two before the new year. So let's go ahead and get started with all the fun. I'm going to share with you guys each level of the barrister and you will see some of them still have the tags from the thrift store. So just as an FYI, don't let it be a surprise. But let me go ahead and showcase each shelf one by one and I will share with you guys the pieces individually and give you guys a full look. And if you do like this video, I welcome you to hit that like button as it really helps out my channel and all of my videos to push them out towards YouTube land so everyone else can see what Second Chance Love is all about. And I did want to remind you guys that I am going to be changing my channel name. I really do appreciate a lot of you, you know, telling me to keep second chance love and i appreciate it so much because a lot of you guys say that you love it but i just really i'm really happy with the new name that i came up with and i will be revealing that for january and telling you why it's so important to me and why i chose the name so make sure to stay tuned for that because i will be announcing that in january so bear with me as we start with the first level of the barrister so, and this was an estate sale. If you guys remember, this barrister bookcase was an estate sale fine, which I thought was absolutely perfect. Just what I was talking about. You guys can see that there's still some of the tags from the thrift store because I recently have bought these and I just placed them in there, but I haven't had a chance to like clean them. Usually what I'll do when I get a vintage piece is I'll thoroughly clean it and remove the, uh, the thrift store tag and place it into the barrister uh, bookcase and then you're also going to see my beautiful beautiful trophy that I received for the gratitude awards that was hosted by Bonnie and Stephanie I absolutely love this I cherish it so much so this is where I keep it so let me go ahead and place that safely down so let's go ahead and start with these items that actually ha you guys have already seen so this is going to be added to my what I call bug collection. I really don't know the name of the collection. If there's any information from a collection, you guys, from the, the pieces that I'm going to share with you, I will go ahead and input that information down below whenever I showcase them. So this is the ladybug mug that you guys saw from Savers that has the inscription on the back. Let me read it really quick. A small beetle with a domed back, typically red or yellow with black spots. They prefer Ophids as a food source and can eat them in great numbers. I don't 
I cannot understand what it says. I think it says Ophields, Ophi. I, I, I can't understand what that says. I can't understand. I think this is supposed to be Ray's handwriting and it's a little bit difficult to understand. But this was a savers find. Again, this was $2.49 that I found. I also shared with you guys that I found the Icon canister at savers. This was $6.99 with the rolling pin. This one, I definitely have to give it a good cleaning. And then this recently, this was recent actually, I found this at Goodwill still with the brand new price tag. It is part of the Easter collection. It's a baby canister with the pink lid on the top and it says hip hop with the bunny ears. Absolutely adorable. This is an older piece as it does not have a number at the bottom. Usually it's by where it says by magenta. So this is an older piece and I absolutely love it. Now this next collection that you guys are seeing here is very very special because I this is like literally the most largest collection of any collection that I have for Ray Dunn. And again a lot of pieces were either thrifted or found at an estate sale. Um, like this plate that I have back here. Let me grab it really quick. Just carefully This is part of a very much older piece as you guys see it says Ray Dunn at the back This does have a lot of crazing. It's completely 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 covered by crazing and I it may be difficult for you guys to see but this is such a vintage piece. This is like one of the few um, pieces from the boutique collection that she re released. And I believe it was either, it was with a big store. I don't remember if it was through um, like Nordstrom's or Macy's or it's like a big store or it might be like a Bloomingdale's. It might have been Bloomingdale's. I don't remember. I'll go ahead and add the information down here for you guys. So I found this at an estate sale and I absolutely have cherished it so much just because of the look. And I just love all those speck dots all around it. It looks very like natural. It doesn't look like it's perfection. It just looks very, very like not nature like but like very um i'm trying to think of the word it almost feels like imperfection i guess you could say in a way so i do have this piece right here let me go ahead and put it back and i actually have several other pieces from this collection that are not vintage so that piece is vintage but the rest of the things like the scoop the pour the canisters that you guys see there those were all newer because they don't have um they actually do have numbers at the bottom see like this one still has the goodwill tag on it so some of these are newer but they are all absolutely beautiful i have found two of the bulls again the thrift store tags are still here but these are absolutely so precious from this whole collection i have one mug from this collection and it's sip really cute and this one's older actually because it doesn't have a number so and then i also have a mixing bowl as well and this one says dash in the very very bottom of it so i absolutely love 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 this collection it's again like one of the most biggest collections that i have from a ray dunn set that all matches and I just absolutely am so in love with it. Yes, I am still wearing my Grinch sweater. It is still Christmas here in Casa Hernandez. <laughs> so you guys, the next level of the bookcase. So this level, you're gonna find a lot more newer. I actually was trying to fit in um, my Disney collection into a different hutch that I found for free on OfferUp that I have shared with you guys. Um, but unfortunately it did not fit everything. So I had to split the Wizard of Ox the Wizard of Oz collection and also the Cinderella canister from A Dream Come True. So back here, um, I won't go too much into detail with these. These are just newer, like the Ray Dunn mug with her signature on the back. Um, I have the Wizard of Oz collection. I have the Red Ruby slippers, the Wicked Witch, Dorothy and um, Glinda the Good. And then also my thrifted beautiful piece of the whole cast of the Wizard of Oz. I absolutely adore this and it goes so well with the Ray Dunn collection. So that is kind of what is 
tucked away into the corner here and then over here we go back into more vintage so i have this dream mug this is an m stamp again it still has remnants of the um, thrift store tag and i told myself i need to find the time to clean all these up and i want to make them more nicer i mean now i kind of feel like they're just smudged you know smashed in there together to like keep them all in one place but i do ultimately want to make it look nicer so i have this one that says dream with the typewriter font and then i have two of these the other one is down at the bottom of the next level of the bookcase, but I do have two of these vintage Let It Snow Snowman with Cookies on the Hands mugs. They are both, I believe they're both M stamp and they were both thrifted. So I absolutely love it. The This one's really full, fully, fully, fully crazed everywhere. Even the inside is crazed. But again, these are vintage pieces. They will never be... Let me rephrase that because they have been remade. They're bringing them out and that's what Magenta is doing, you guys. Magenta is bringing out all the old stuff and bringing it out new again. So they did re-release this one, but this is more special because it is M stamp. It is like a first release. So I think it's more special. Then part of the bug collection, I also have the dragonfly, which I shared with you guys as well. I think it's absolutely precious. And then I also have the Icon. I believe this is also part of the Icons collection. And this was $2.49 at Savers. Absolutely gorgeous. No number at the bottom. So it is an older piece. And then this one also doesn't have a number at the bottom. So it's an older piece, you guys. And what I mean by number, you guys, is this. So as you guys can see right here, it says by Magenta. And it has a number. So any product that you find when you're thrifting, if it doesn't have a number, it's an indicator that it's an older piece. So let me go ahead and share with you guys the next collection, which I absolutely really adore this collection. So this next collection is really, really dear to my heart because it shows dogs. I absolutely love dogs. I have a golden retriever. For those of you who do not know, if you ever hear me say or refer to Bella, Bella is our golden retriever and I absolutely adore, adore her. I just love her so much. So when I found these at the thrift store, I was very, very, very excited. I'm actually going to share with you guys a piece. If you follow me on Instagram, then you have already seen this piece. And it is this one. It's absolutely so adorable. And on the back, it says, have a balanced meal. And it shows a dog. This is part of the, um, I forget what it's called. They refer to it as the kodak i don't know if it's a kodak photo collection it's something in that sense the kodak collection or kodak photo collection because all this line is literally pictures pictures of dogs imprinted onto the items so i absolutely love this my hubby found this and i don't know if this is her past dog i know that ray did feature her dog who unfortunately passed away a few years ago she has featured her into her design i just don't know if it's this one or if it's um i believe her name was wilma i think it might be wilma i think this is wilma i hope i'll go ahead and add a picture of her uh, her dog, who she absolutely loved and adored. She has a new dog right now, but she, I know she absolutely loved her, 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 her precious baby who passed away. So in this collection, I have found so many of these thrifted, you guys. So here are part of the ceramic blocks. A lot of you guys know this as they have like words or sayings, phrases, you know, um, motivational quotes and stuff like that that you can decorate with. This says something about coffee. Um, but the Goodwill tag is blocking it. And it has another cute, adorable dog right here. And then we also have this one. This one is the only one that doesn't have a picture. It actually says, life is better with a dog. And it has a paw print. So I don't know if this is um, like a very special 
paw print if it might have been a raised dog i'm not too sure if she you know personalized it and used her paw for the design but i just think it's absolutely so precious if she did then i have two more pieces from this collection and there's this one right here which is actually a lot larger than the other ones we have this cute little cutie this one says have a ball i love how the sayings match with the picture and then we have this one that has two pooches and this one says something relax so again all of these were like thrifted you guys i was just so excited so excited because a lot of the times again i find a lot of my vintage pieces at thrift stores and the best part is is i actually <laughs> i actually also found the canister so there are several canisters as well to this collection and this is one of them have a balanced meal so this matches the coffee mug and i just think it's absolutely precious i got this at goodwill there is no number at the bottom so you guys know what that indicates this is five dollars and 99 cents at goodwill and i absolutely love it Okay, you guys, so I decided to keep you guys up for this one because it's getting difficult and more difficult to get lower and lower to the bottom of the bookcase. So let me go ahead and share with you guys the next few items. So this is another mug that I found. Again, most of this, you guys, is literally all thrifted. I have found all of these pieces thrifted except for the occasional, like, estate sale find. But literally, it's, like, only one. That's what's so amazing that I cannot believe that I find, like, all these vintage pieces at goodwill so i did find this one which is a christmas mug i absolutely again i love when they add ray's artwork into the design i love this it's so simplistic but beautiful in a way like i just love it it, it just looks so perfect even though her style is known to be full of imperfections but this is an m stamp mug you guys so i got this at goodwill you can, again remnants of the tag and then i also have this create mug it's very very simple you guys very 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 simple um it says create it literally looks like someone went in and just used sharpie that's how it literally looks like that they wrote it in sharpie and then they glossed it and bam there they have a mug and this is actually also as well an m stamp mug so m stamp for those of you who do not that for those of you who do not know m stamp is what they used before they used ray dunn artisan collection by magenta so a lot of her items had that m stamp mug which was either in gray or they also would use black to outline it and then I also have this other vintage mug that's Christmas. It's the elves feet and it says believe in magic. It's red on the inside. Absolutely perfect for the season that just passed. This was also a Goodwill find and it was also an M stamp mug. M stamp, you guys. I also have this other canister that says flamingo. So it's a flamingo, but it says flamingo. I absolutely love this. This was another thrift store find from Goodwill. This one is missing the rubber stopper. So that's why I still have the tape on it. Just because I don't want the lid to fly off. And it still has, as you guys guessed it, the Goodwill tag for $3.99. This is definitely an older piece. It still even has the original Home Goods store tag. And this is from 2017. Can you believe that? 2017. So here's a quick theory. So I think, and again, this is not proven. I don't know if it's true. So what I think what ends up happening is a lot of the stuff from back in the day, you know, like early 2000s, whenever Ray Dunn released her line, it wasn't as popular. It didn't catch on as it is now. You know, now it's more of a hot item. So what I think ended up happening is a lot of the stores would get all of their inventory that wouldn't sell and donate it over to Goodwill or I don't know if Goodwill will buy it out. I don't know how the, you know, how it works legally, but I think that it ended up in Goodwill and all of these vintage pieces are probably stuck in Goodwill's warehouse, just waiting and waiting and waiting for them to release them out into the stores because what ends up happening is, is the donations get sorted and I don't know if it's through all goodwills but here in orange county california 
their items are all sorted at one headquarters and then they send shipments out to different goodwills and i believe also whatever items they have in store sometimes they also do sell them at that same store that they get donations but again this is all very speculation. Um, I don't have anything that proves it. I don't know if it's factual. It could just be me talking out of my mouth, <laughs> but I just wanted to give you guys my input on what I think, but I think that's what happens. And so all of these old items are making their way into the Goodwill store because they're just sitting in a warehouse where they gradually start coming out and coming out, coming out, you know, to the stores. That's just my theory. Again, not sure if it's actually. And for the last two items, you guys, I have actually a lot more vintage pieces, but I didn't want to make this video too long. But the two pieces that I have left are canisters. Again, going with the Christmas vibes, I absolutely love this this is so adorable it's a doggy i think it's a wiener dog a Dachshund, i think that's what they're called and then it has how adorable mistletoe so this is a christmas canister i don't know if this is intended for dogs so like dog treats i really don't know but it's absolutely gorgeous it's in such great condition i got this at goodwill this one is clean because i definitely took care of this one and it is an older piece there is no number at the bottom i absolutely adore this it's so stinking cute and i want to say that this is probably one of my most prized pieces i absolutely love this you guys i cannot believe it that i have it but I have seen, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen, if you are avid Ray Dunn fanatics, then you have already seen that Magenta is going to be re-releasing some of their older pieces from their warehouse, supposedly. Again, I don't know how that works, but supposedly they have a lot of pieces that are vintage from their warehouse that they're going to be re-releasing, and this is one of those pieces. Yes. So I have a Write It canister these were called write it because this is chalkboard and you are able to use chalk and write on the canister so again i was so shocked i was so giddy with amazement and i just couldn't believe it when i found this at goodwill you guys yes this was a goodwill find it even still has the Goodwill tag, it was only $4.99. And again, this is from way older piece. It might be from the boutique section. As you guys can see, it just says Ray Dunn by Magenta, nothing else. It still even has the original barcode. So I think this is probably from a boutique collection. And I just absolutely love it. They are re-releasing it again. So if you guys are on the hunt for it, definitely make sure that you guys are ready for when that sale starts. Um, I'm just happy that I have this vintage piece and I, I absolutely love it. It resells for crazy amounts of money. I cannot believe it, but I love this and I absolutely love, love, love my collection. I'm sure it will keep on growing with my vintage finds. And again, I have a lot more scattered throughout my home, um, but just not everything fits into the barrister. So I can only keep so much. Some of them, like I do have some farm line pieces as well that are M stamp. Um, but those are put away for now until the neutral decor comes out. So I have things everywhere, you guys. But I absolutely hope that you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, sharing my vintage Ray Dunn collection. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite piece or pieces because I know there's a lot here to process. So what are your favorite pieces from my vintage Ray Dunn collection? I would love to hear from you guys. Drop it in the comments below and let me know what you guys think so i do hope that you guys have a wonderful wonderful new year's i don't know if this might be the last video of 2022 i may pop in for one more video kind of like a what i got for christmas video if i feel the enough energy to release it before or on the 31st at the most so just keep an eye out if not if i don't release anything i wish you all a wonderful and prosperous new year to you and your family and your friends and all your loved ones and your pets as well and that you guys have a safe and wonderful new year and for us to stick together share the love you know sh love 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 you guys let's stay 
hopeful. Let's not start out the new year with negativity. Set out your goals and stick with them. Just do what you got to do. And 2023 will be a new year for us to start a clean slate, as many of us like to do. Let's try and stick, you know, let's stay committed to what we push ourselves to do and everything will be wonderful for the new year. So until next time, you guys, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love wishing you guys a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.